visually. And so my theory about this is that uh, they are able to affect the gravity field of the craft and cause this. This is within the context of subquantum kinetics is how I would think it would occur, is uh, that they are able to m make the craft lighter, in effect, uh, like a raised gravity potential to make a G hill there. And uh, the waves, the formed particles, would diminish, go more towards the vacuum state. There appears to be a process where the American Physical Society spokesman, Robert Park, uh, makes fun of the new technology on his website, uh, make, making sort of sarcastic comments about it or, or pointing out how it breaks certain laws of physics that are their codes of what they believe is valid and uh, in effect creating the impression that uh, this is a fraudulent idea that the uh, somebody's doing something illegal to be trying to sell this idea or patent it. Uh, in the case of black light they had a long vendetta against uh, the inventor of this process who is able to get energy out of just plain water that a glass of water would produce more energy than if you had that glass filled with gasoline which is what Mills is finding he's finding ultraviolet light is given off during this transition and this is how he generates the energy and he has a catalyst that's able to release this energy well he has uh, made some patents on this and um, just as the one patent on this was about to issue, was it, it had been actually announced in the Patent Gazette and was formally going to issue a, in a week or two, uh, Robert Park uh, starts making fun of it on his website and apparently there must have been a uh, email campaign or contact at the Patent Office. It embarrassed the Patent Office and they pulled the patent, which is really illegal what they did, to withdraw a patent after it had been uh, already approved to be issued. Uh, because you're, you're, according to patent law, you're only a really, uh, an invention is allowed to be patented if it works if, and if it's something new. It can work and break the laws of physics as physicists know it and it still has the right to be patented. Uh, time and again, technology has driven physics theory. Physics theory tends to be restraining on technological advancement because all you, you would come up with is the ideas that your theory happened to predict. Uh, now, if that was the case, our technological advance would slow to a halt. So you, you, the system, fortunately, our patent system is set up to allow uh, us to go beyond the laws of physics to patent things that work. Now what the patent office in its current uh, approach is, it's actually breaking the law, it's trying to make happy the uh, physicists who are with American Physical Society to keep them in power with their ideas, you might say, um, and withhold from public use good inventions that could solve our problems like the energy crisis. And, uh, well, uh, Blacklight Power, the company that uh, has this invention, uh, is not taking this lightly, and they have initiated a court suit. And uh, I, I think very strong possibility they're going to win this case. But you see, this is not an isolated case. There's a whole pattern of this going on at the Patent Office. Uh, I personally know, because I was at the Patent Office uh, for uh, about a year, and uh, I know some people there, and I know some of the things that were going on. And, for example, there was somebody I know who issued a patent on a process of sending signals faster than the speed of light. Uh, this was then made fun of by uh, Robert Park on his website. Uh, through their connections, they had this posted somewhere as the most ridiculous patent of the year award, this sort of thing. In effect, they embarrassed the patent office and shortly after this happened, uh, this, embarrassing, this embarrassing publicity occurred, the commissioner of the patent office 
reprimanded the examiner and his supervisor, and he threatened to fire the supervisor. So in effect, trying to satisfy the, this, this lobby group, that's all you can call it, it's a lobby group, it's outside the government, that has undue influence on the patent office and shouldn't really be allowed to. I mean, they can say what they want, it's freedom of speech, but for the patent office to do their bidding instead of following a law, that is illegal. I mean, you, you could argue just on the basis of uh, viewing physics as a religion, uh, in a way, a, a belief system, that anything that challenges their belief system, they're going to oppose. And they don't care if it's something that's going to help society. If, because uh, it, it would make them look like fools that, geez, they can't explain this, and maybe their theories are wrong. Uh, people are going to start wondering, why do we send our children to colleges? Uh, why are the, these university professors getting funded to build huge accelerators, which, for what purpose? You know, why do we spend billions of dollars on a super collider in Texas? And so there obviously must be a monetary connection here where they're trying to protect their butts uh, for funding, too. And it's self-interest, you know, and heck with the rest of the world. You know, let global warming happen. If it doesn't fit into our physics box, that's too bad. Uh, in effect, uh, these new technologies, new energy technologies, for example, are the underdog, you have to admit it. Uh, they don't fit into the paradigm that is currently taught and believed, and sort of, so they are left out of getting the funding to be developed uh, or to get their patents, even to the point that they're breaking the law to prevent them from their patents from being issued. Without their patents being issued, how are investors going to invest in the company? So we need a massive education program to educate the patent office on how, how they should follow the laws that are breaking the law, uh, and funding institutions like National Science Foundation, Department of Energy, to start funding something that we have to do in this state of crisis that we're in. Because uh, we see already with the, the oil problems and the high prices, we, we have heard about the uh, melting of the Arctic, the rise in temperature, uh, global warming effect, these are real. Uh, so um, we really have to start initiating this program as soon as possible. This, this should be a major issue of concern for Congress. Uh, the paradigm that uh, we're in that's been taught in the, it's being taught in uh, our universities, in physics classes, chemistry classes, it's fine for in the past and it's done well, but we're at a point where we need to go beyond that. We, are, we need technologies that uh, don't fit in that paradigm.